Okay, guys, we got a little uh, how-to project here on this 2008 uh, Ford Edge. It's having cooling issues. Be, be right back. So, so yeah, if you remember a couple years ago, uh, this is my son Jacob, he and I, well, I, I let him do it and I just kind of, I filmed it and helped him here and there, but uh, he had a cooling issue on his, on his cru cruise, what year cruise? 11. 2011 uh, Chevy, Chevy Cruise. Um, I turned, it was a, it was a cracked uh, thermostat, housing. Th thermostat housing, it's plastic. Well, anyway, we're having cooling issues on this. He put some uh, uh, flush in it so he's going to be draining the flush here we think it's the uh, thermostat um because it it, it will overheat it, 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 it the temperature goes high um and, but also when he drained the coolant into to put the this this flush in you still have that mm -hmm. yeah that's the, that fl that flush cleaner there um this is supposed to take like three gallons, three, three, three gallons of total coolant and water. Well, we, we were only able to get out just almost two gallons. So, and then only able to put in two gallons. So, so we think the thermostat is, is, is seized, seized up. And so it was holding that other gallon or so in the motor, but, but you know, we, uh, he was able to drain the reservoir and the radiator. So, so we're going to change the thermostat on this 2008 Ford Edge, or I should say Jacob's going to change the thermostat. I'm going to film and, and talk. Okay, to, in order to drain the radiator, he had to take off this uh, little fascia here, I guess is what you call it. Uh, what, like five or six uh, fasteners that went right under here. And Jacob, you, you want to show them what you're, what you're working on? Yeah, so uh, it's going to come, and, and the pickcock should be right here to make it accessible and easy but uh, they don't they don't do that so what you have to do is you get a three-quarter socket or uh, or wrench and this this white this white socket right there or bolt you're just gonna turn that once you start turning that kind of clockwise then it'll start slowly draining out of here and then we also have the uh, the cap from the uh, ex it's cooling expansion reservoir open so it'll flow flow evenly as well yeah he took he, he took off the uh, the cap to the reservoir there um, to release to release the pressure so he'll get the drain in here in a second by the way Jacob lives in Des Moines we are in Des Moines and we are we are still camped out at uh, Sailorville Lake at Jester Park there um, we, we decided to stay there another week too so uh, yeah we're, we're in Des Moines all my family is here and just over here, giving Jacob a hand. Okay, while that's, while that's draining, Jacob's gonna start taking the top end off up here. The thermostat housing is right Go back the there. Other angle. Go and shoot from over there. There's a thermostat housing, so, so the in, intake needs to come off first. These electric connectors are always different. I th you see, is there a red tab there, Jacob? Yeah, there, I pulled it out. Okay, okay. Well, then, then maybe you just got to wiggle now. Just keep wiggling. Well, I think you got to press up. So it comes out just like that. This red clip, it's in, so you got to pull it out and then press the bottom of this down and pull simultaneously. Okay, there's another connector on the other side of, of uh, the NK. Right now. Oh, oh, okay, that's not electrical. Next, there's a V-band clamp on the front of the intake there, or I should say on the back of the intake. That's got to come off. Then, then I'm thinking it should pull off. Mm -hmm. Here's the here's the PC V valve on this side. That's got to that's got to be disconnected. So for this PC V valve, what you need to do is you need you have a little on this. The connector, there's a little uh, a, a tab right here that you're going to pull out 
and then make sure it's clear, and then you're just gonna push, and it'll unconnect. Alright, step one out of the way. This is the thermostat that we'll need. We'll remove this clamp and then unbolt these bolts. I think it's eight millimeter, but it'll double check. Taking the air filter off just so we can have easy access to the thermostat housing to get that off and uh, just easier to work in. So there is an eight millimeter bolt or five thirty seconds. And then basically once that comes out, it's attached to right here. Once that comes out, you're able to pull up, just straight up with these little tabs. And, uh, and when you put it back in, you'll just push it and it'll clamp right back into place. There you go. All right, we're there, folks. There's that thermostat. You're just gonna wiggle it and pull it out and uh, it'll drain out a little bit have a little towel underneath there. So after taking the old thermostat out, we got the new gasket and we have the new thermostat. And uh, the old thermostat was pretty loose on the spring. It wasn't very tight. I'm not sure what was going on. I was thinking that it was jammed, closed shut. Um, so basically all we're gonna do is replace the, the gasket and the thermostat and hopefully this um, does the job and we'll come back to you if there's uh, anything different that comes about. And then just make sure it's flush and then we'll put the put the housing right back on it. So everything's back on. Put the bolt back back on this to secure the uh, air filter um, and then the mass airflow sensor and then whatever this little little piece is right here that's back on in addition to the O-ring uh, clamp back, um, back right here. And, uh, and then this, and then this uh, piece right here. All right, so now all we gotta do is make, make, sure, make sure the coolant, coolant is topped off. And uh, then we're gonna take it for a test drive, see, see if it uh, works, we'll let you know what happens. Yeah, so we uh, yeah we 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 took it for a drive, uh, let it run for a while while we ate, and uh, and the temperature did did rise like it like it's going to overheat. So uh, must not be the thermostat. Um, if any of you guys know or have an idea or a guess, you know any of the symptoms we've talked about, um, it's not overheating until. 15 20 minutes into the drive it has hot it has cold air we're thinking that it might be the radiator like a blockage in the radiator so yeah yeah we're not we're not sure so but but we will let you know what what uh what jacob finds what we find whatever um so anyway yeah, i'm gonna end this video here uh, I appreciate every single one of you guys. Um, I'm going to make this a Wednesday video, I think, next on Wednesday. But anyway, uh, share this with a like-minded person and hit that notification bell and subscribe. Love you guys. See you Saturday. We will still be in Des Moines, but probably with a new adventure.